Hello and welcome back to Learning Advanced Custom Fields with me, Benjamin and Dev. How are we doing? Right, okay, so we are today in this lesson we are going to set up our custom post types UI. Now I have set up a test one which was car reviews. So you can see car reviews, add new and uh, other car reviews. What we're going to do is we're going to go into CPT UI and we're going to add a new custom post type. And this one's going to be called rest front reviews. And what we'll do is we'll just do that. And then you just fill out this. And this is the plural, so restaurant reviews. <coughs> and then, excuse me, the next one will be just restaurant review. Scrolling down, you can add some text in here for the description. So we will put add your restaurant review. Menu now, I'm just going to leave all terms. I'm just going to leave most of this and just leave it as is. I generally don't mess around or touch this. What I will do, and what is important, is has archive is set to false which is kind of annoying because actually we want it set to true so we'll just do that and we'll see later on in another video why we want to leave it to true um, we'll exclude it from search is false and most of the other settings is absolutely fine so <clears throat> title editor and featured image we could put in a couple of images and do that but at the moment we're not going to do that for now might come back in another video and add a feature where the user can upload some images to a gallery for that particular restaurant review. Okay, so the rest of it, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll just leave as is. So we'll add that post type. And now we can see restaurant reviews. So what we need to do now is we need to go into our custom fields. So the field types that we need to use are the restaurant name, the location, food type, the food quality, and your review and uh, marks out five so five one star five star that sort of thing so the restaurant name field will be covered by the actual field at the top as in the title so for example with our car review you can see enter your car review all I'll do is I'll write a snippet of code that will say something along the lines of name of restaurant so that one's covered the first well, the second one is the location. So we'll add our location. Add the location. I wonder. So we've added our location field, and we just want it to be a text field, and it is required. And we'll leave it as convert into HTML. The next field up is the food type. So food type, oops, I can't spell. Food type, and that just populates. Add the food type, i.e. fast food. Then we can add the next field, which is the food quality. So I will put food quality. And what we can do is we can have a select. So add please select. Please add the food, what? please select the food quality. So we can do it as awful. Awful, okay. Good. 
great and excellent. And just for fun, why don't we do one that says out of this <laughs> world? <laughs> I mean, I'd like to eat some food that was out of this world, literally. Default value, no. Select multiples, no. Allow null, no. And conditional logic. So that's the food quality setup. And let's add. Mm, let's add the next one will be uh, stars how many stars so stars and again what we'll do is we'll just use the select so how many stars would you give this rest front and one one so I've just added all of these star choices so from a one to a five so that's fine and I've just thought of another one that we could do which would be the quality of service so and again we could have radio buttons. I think what I'm going to do is just literally copy and paste that because that can be applied to the quality of service as well. So please select. was so that's the quality of service is required yes or all of these required so are they required for that nope so I want to make sure that every single one is required because it will just leave us with no data and yeah so quality of service and then finally <clears throat> what we can do is we can add your sorry, let's change up your review and we'll just do the WYSIWYG editor because then they can have full capabilities of this so please add your full review here so that's the full review so let's require that and full toolbar Sharp media buttons. Well, I don't want them adding images just yet because what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we can add a gallery, and that is it for that one. So now we can, or I prefer it to be in the WP meta box, and I'll leave that for now and then we can come back to it. Um, and now this is where we can do post type is equal to restaurant reviews and then that's fine so let's go ahead and publish that okay so now this is all added all right excellent so we've made some progress uh, we've uh, added the CPT UI which is the custom post types user interface We've integrated that with our ACF, which is our advanced custom fields. So we've got lots of fields. So next up, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually add the data as if we were a user. So let's go ahead and do that. Please like, subscribe, ask any questions. You can hit me up on Twitter at Benjamin the Dev. Any questions at all, feel free to ask me. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers, see you soon.